Newton's second law is the most important principle to understand in first semester physics. It relates the cause and effect of motion along with the properties of matter. Feel free to pause and repeat all parts of this video to make sure you understand all aspects. Newton's second law was already hinted by Newton's first law. The law of inertia stated that an object will retain constant velocity unless acted upon by a net outside force. The rate of change of velocity is defined as acceleration. If there is a change in either the speed or direction of an object, it is undergoing acceleration. By Newton's first law, it means a net outside force must be acting on it. The object also has inertia, which is its tendency to keep constant velocity. The inertia of an object is proportional to its property of mass. Now let's understand force. In common understanding, a force is a push or a pull. In first semester physics, we will primarily be dealing with forces that are contact forces, i.e. two objects touching each other. Later on, you are going to learn about field forces. These can act through distance. In particular, what we observe as a push or a pull between two solid objects is just the macroscopic manifestation of the electrostatic force. Force is a vector, hence both magnitude and direction are important and it is measured in the units of Newtons. The vector diagram for a force usually represents the object of a known or unknown mass 
and the force labeled with F and the subscript depending on its type and an arrow pointing in the direction that the force is applying on the object. In case of a push of unspecified nature, we call it an applied force. If the force is a pull, we refer to it as a tensional force. Now let's consider the term net force. Net force is defined as the vector sum of all forces acting on the object. In symbolic form, it may be written as F sub net or sigma F. As a vector sum, make sure you add the forces not just by magnitude, but consider their direction as well. Keep in mind that the net force is not a force by itself acting on the object. As to not confuse physics, it is asked that you do not draw it in on a free body diagram, rather indicate its direction on the side. This is what Newton's second law says. The acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the net outside force acting on the object and inversely proportional to its mass. Let's understand this law for each of its variables. Keep in mind that acceleration is the rate of change of velocity with time. According to Newton's second law, in formulaic form it can be written as A equals F net divided by M. Physically, the meaning is that the observed effect of acceleration is due to the cause of a net outside force. but modified by a property of the object, in this case, inertial mass.
Let's explore the proportionalities. Direct proportionality means if one variable is increased, then so must the other. If we increase net force, the acceleration will increase. Remember that the net force is the vector sum of the forces. To increase acceleration, it is not enough to just increase forces, rather you must increase the imbalance of the forces. Inversely proportional means that as one variable increases, the other must decrease. In the case of Newton's second law, acceleration and mass are inversely proportional. One can calculate the acceleration by dividing the net force by the mass. Again, do not draw this vector directly onto the free body diagram as it is not an acting force Rather, it is the effect of the net force. If we decrease the mass while keeping the net force the same, then the magnitude of the acceleration will increase. In problems involving Newton's second law, it will commonly be written as F net equals MA. This also gives you the relationship of units. One Newton equals one kilograms times meters per second squared. Because forces can act in many directions, such problems will usually be multidimensional. This will require setting up an appropriate coordinate system and calculating components. No matter the number of dimensions, however, the proportionalities of Newton's second law still hold. the acceleration will still be directly proportional to the net force and it will have the same direction.
it is recommended that in preparing to solve force problems, you review this video in detail, understanding all its parts and proportionalities.